Here we are together again, ladies and gentlemen. I have a backdrop tonight. We're doing a theater production of Hamlet in the backyard to raise money to pay our bills. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day and caulking on my hands and arms and legs and probably private regions. I, and I even took a shower and it still didn't come off, but I mean, some of it did. I'm just sitting here coming at you wildly to let you know how my day with um, at working with Joel went. How can I describe it? Well, I vacillated between wanting to take my own life and pretty much wanting to take my own life. It was horrible. I mean, it's hot. I don't do heat well. Anyone who's lounged for five minutes knows that, especially during the live gigs. I'm not used to manual labor. I've had it pretty good at the paper all these years, where I still am at the paper. I've, my boss has yet to contact me about having the little discussion. For those who are late to the game, you can just go look a couple of videos ago. I talked about it. I forget what I called the video. Uh, update, second attempt at uploading, something like that. Yeah. So, um, working with Joel Monday, Tuesday right now. And um, Spencer, I was such a great influence on Spencer. It was hilarious. Looking back on it, it was funny. <laughs> At the time, it was not. I mean, we entered this place. It's like a fi literally $5 million home on Connie Lake. So everything has to be perfect. I mean, there are areas that nobody would ever know that a little bit of um, daylight, I don't even want to say daylight, a little bit of a gap was located in any of the trim work or what have you. But because it's a $5 million home, we are going to cover that up, even if it's in a closet underneath the shelf holding up a shoe rack. And I'm not kidding. This is how Joel is. Quite the perfectionist. I am not. So, um, I don't do very good work. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't. I'm not a good worker when it comes to the painting. And, um, you know, I, working in the painting, caulking, drywall. You know, people, when they, you mention painter, they think you just want to paint. No, not at all. Plus, you have to be like naughty a come in each to... Do all these backflips and twists around everything that all the other construction people leave lounging around that the painter has to, you know, morph into a um, naughty coming each in order to um, get to the stuff that we need to do. So um, we entered the facility, the facility, the house, and I immediately told Spencer that um, no matter how hard he... <laughs> It's just funny to say it. No matter how hard you ever work, Spencer, don't ever think that you're going to have a house like this or make or have, you know, $5 million home or four of them because evidently the gentleman has four or $5 million homes, which I think is almost sinful if I believed in sin as sin is, um, you know, as the regular definition goes. Uh, I'm pausing. You know what I mean. I don't... Uh, I, okay, we'll stick with the word sin because it is. Um... So that was, you know, I was really blunt about it. And then I just complained the whole day. Especially in the afternoon. I was on the verge of tears quite a bit. It wasn't just the work. It was the situation that would uh, lead me to being in the position to have to do that kind of work at all. Or anything other than the cushy lifestyle to which I've become accustomed <laughs> working for the paper. I always wanted to work for a paper and write a column and do reports and all that because that's what I wanted to do. And then I got the opportunity 14 years ago, and I took it, and, you know, that's kind of up in the air now, and I'm doing this jazz, and it was it's just hot, hideous work, and then Spencer said something cute. First of all, he was like, hey, you're not doing a very good job, so he ended up being the foreman. And he was right. Um, he said something like, you know, whenever you work for an hourly rate, it makes you kind of cheap, because... Like, if you're thinking about going out to dinner or getting a pizza or something, you have to kind of calculate, now, how many hours did I have to work to get that? And in this case, since, you know, five minutes of this work drives me to total drinking, um, I probably won't ever uh, eat dinner or pizza again, ladies and gentlemen. No, well, I'll eat dinner, but I won't buy it. So, that was kind of my day. Um, and then, of course, we have to can beets tonight. I'm not doing the corn. I'm putting my foot down, totally. I'm not going to do corn that we husked, husked uh, last night wildly. It's going to have to sit another night. I don't feel like it. We're going to can beets. and Joel's going to have leftovers, I guess, for dinner. I don't know how I'm supposed to work and do all this jazz at once. And I don't know how he, he does it either because he does all this jazz and then he goes and does the gardening stuff and brings it over and stays up and cans. God love him. I mean, what a guy. Totally. I'm just not that guy. 
<laughs> I don't know. I might be. Let me check. No. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, hats off to him, but I'm not cut out for it. And, you know, my feet hurt, and I have the uh, pain condition located on my pelvic floor. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't get too graphic. And um, I have an exposed nerve in my tooth. So, it was like I was just ready to freaking kill everybody in sight today. Good news, though. I, <laughs> after all that good news, I did speak with Justin, son of Joel. <laughs> Once again, sounds like a murderer. And um, he is very much understanding what's going on in terms of the reaction to the CV situation. At first, he thought it might have some, you know, that it, there might be something really um, going on, you know, and took some precautions. And then after a while, he thought, no, this is there's something really, something else is up here, and he just can't get over it. So, in other words, we're on the same page, which is good to know. And so is the other son, Dustin. And had Austin lived, I know that he would be as well. So. Now, if we can just get Joel on that page. I think he is kind of on the page, ladies and gentlemen, but not as much as we are. He's still turning the page and getting there, okay? He has a bookmark ready for us. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say here. Hang on. It's mainly the heat, too. I mean, the heat really, really bothers me. You, Like I said, you've seen during live shows where I absolutely can't stand it at all. And... Um, I get hot flashes anyway because I'm of a certain age and had certain things removed from me violently. <laughs> Wasn't that violent? Um, and I just don't do well with it at all. In fact, um, I used to work quite a bit with Joel in the old days. It's when I was like madly in love with him when we first met and I couldn't stay apart from him. You know, all that crap wears off after a while, especially when it gets hot out. So, um, yeah, I, we did a job once where I was removing some wallpaper there just to remind you of my manual labor today. Um, my nails are all beat up now and so anyhow a uh, manual labor uh yeah yeah i was up on this thing removing wallpaper and it was extremely hot and i had an episode as they say and joel had to send me home i mean i got like kind of a rash on my the inside of my you know here it's called a wrist i think and um you know i was terrible i was blotchy and disgusting and all that jazz so that's how well I deal with the heat. And this was before I was a woman who was 56. I was probably 46, maybe. Maybe 40. Now, wait a minute. 40-ish. Yeah. Um, I guess that's all. I will just keep you posted on what's going on here as the paintbrush turns or something. And that's not... I'd much rather do the caulking in a $5 million home with so many rooms I couldn't believe it than do painting. But, you know, we're going to have to move on to painting because that's what it's all about, Alfie. Um, okay, uh, over and out, I guess, um, that's all, I think, uh, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join Mars, I think, there she is, yeah. Drop your political identities, let's focus on issues, leave labels at the door, research before you judge, and look at the fish, it's not really blowing around much. Uh, remember, war is a racket, don't take my word for it, check out General Smedley Butler, what he had to say. I have some clothes hanging. I came home and washed my work clothes, or as they say here, I washed my work clothes. And I think I'm going to cut a V in them and cut off the... I wore a bra today, ladies and gentlemen, but I took it off partway through the day. Don't tell Joel. I couldn't stand it. It, it was hot. Everything's hot. You know, I, I take after Mother because um, Dad used to really tease her about various things, but one of them was she has a partial, you know, a partial on her mountain, partial plate, they call it. She swears it makes her hot. Yeah, my parcel's making me warm. <laughs> so I come by this naturally. Okay, I'm going to go because I believe oh, Zoe's out front. That's all. Clothes are hanging there. I just I washed them when I got in. And we have to move on to phase two of the evening at this time. Thank you for listening and for giving a flying toot. Bye-bye.